Hi and welcome to the Jumres Joomla Menu Maker tutorial. In this tutorial I'll show you how to use the Menu Maker. It's had a bit of a revamp recently and I thought it was time I showed you how to use it. To start off with you'll need to install the plugin. You can see it in the Jumres plugin manager. There's no need to discover it as it's a Jumres plugin, not Joomla. Next you need to disable Ceph URLs. This is because Jomris needs to store the actual URLs, but don't worry, they'll be transposed to Ceph URLs later by Joomla. You will also need to ensure that in site configuration, debugging, your site is set to development, not production. That's because the search menu in the Jomris toolbar isn't visible when the site is set to production, and you'll need to be able to see it. Now we'll go to the front page of our website and choose a link that performs a search in Jomris. Note you have to be logged in as a super property manager to be able to use this feature. Here I'll choose Derby. Once the page is loaded, when you go to the search menu in the Joomla's toolbar, you will see a new option and add this page to a Joomla menu. Click on that and in the next page give the menu a title. Here I'll call it Derby. OK, if you look in the main menu at the top, you'll see the menu option has been added. Let's check to make sure the search results are showing as expected. And there you have it folks, you can do this with any search that you want, so if you want to use the search module from the front page to search for specific dates and create a menu just for them, you can do that too. Don't forget to re-enable Ceph URLs afterwards. <laughs> 